What's going on, you guys? It's Deep Head Gamer here. It's been forever, guys. I hope all is well. Anyway, today's vlog, I actually wanted to talk about right now the top five games you should be playing right now. Isn't that simple enough? So, my top five games right now, I mean, you could say they're cheesy, they're similar, whatever you say, whatever. Um, so, I'm going to have to say this. The first game, this is kind of a long toss, but Monster Hunter. I think it's great. Um, I also think it was a great introductory to the series, where I think it's more enjoyable than it was on your PSP. Um, as you know, they were supposed to come out with it on the PS3 last, uh, actually a couple of years ago, where uh, it didn't work out so well because the PS3 did not do good here in the States, which I, I don't care who says PS3. I thought it was a great system. Now, the second game. I want you guys to think of this. It's a Nintendo Switch game right now. It was a remake, Bayonetta. Bayonetta, I seriously thought, was probably the best hack-and-slash game I've ever played for the past 10 years or so. I am really enjoying it as of right now. Um, I think it's great. Uh, my only issue is I don't know why that Nintendo uh, wanted this whole downloadable thing. I, I understand it probably didn't fit on that little tiny little cartridge. But why, you know? Um, I, I really don't understand why they would do that. But, guys, if you want at least over 20 hours of gameplay with a lot to do, get Bayonetta and Bayonetta 2. It comes in the same exact thing. And I guarantee you guys, you guys will not regret it. Um, a third game I would definitely get into, guys. It's for PC. Uh, you got it for the Xbox One, which I think is actually help is helping on selling consoles right now. You know, you could say what you want. You could say, you know, this game is very overrated and you see it all the time. But I'm going to have to say, say, uh, Players Unknown uh, Battleground, PUBG. Guys, PUBG is, at first I thought it was pretty stupid considering I saw gameplay. I'm like, you know what, this looks like trash. But the, the actual moral of the story here is that once you really start getting into it, it's amazing, guys. And honestly, it's better optimized now than it ever has been. Um, I know Xbox has been really, really, really trying to keep this thing going uh, with everything else. And um, I really feel like that Microsoft made this into a hit. I don't think we're going to see it on PS4 anytime soon. Uh, but you have a PC or any of that, get PUBG. All right. And I would have to say the fourth game, if you're looking into sports, you got MLB The Show 18 on the horizon right now. Uh, MLB The Show is actually a, a console seller, if you ask me, because right now it's the only baseball game on the uh, on the consoles, pretty much. You got RBI Baseball, but I don't think that even fits in the same league. And then on top of that, I honestly think that they should bring back MVP Baseball, guys. I'm sorry. The EA Sports Baseball, that was great. EA finally did something right for once. Uh, Battlefield and Battlefront. <clears throat> but, you know, just to go on to that, um, I'm just kidding, guys. Battlefield 1 was good. I just, I think maybe I was expecting a little too much. Um, but, yeah, it's definitely going to be good. I know they're working on more details. I know there's, like, an RPG mode that is actually happening in the new one. Um, and then the second, I'm going to have to say the second sport game you guys should definitely play and definitely not miss out on. I seriously thought Madden definitely brought the heat this year. They finally got a game going where let's hope they don't ruin it next year by changing the formula and making all these uh, little tiny little things. They, they really don't need to improve on the game. And honestly, guys, I miss old NFL games like NFL Blitz. That was one of the greatest games I probably ever played and still is my one of my arcade favorites. Now... You guys might chew me out for this one. You could you could say whatever. You could say, Tom, what, why would you ever choose this for? Why would you, you know, what are you, one of these fanboys that really firm saw his sons of my fucking eyes? Why would you choose this game? Well, let me tell you. Kingdom Come, by far. And you guys could say whatever you want about it, you know, whatever else. But guys, go pick it up. I guarantee you're really going to like it. Uh, you know, I've been talking about this game a lot uh, in the past couple of weeks. Um, go for it. 
Uh, and honestly, the reason why I say it, it's a great RPG, you got over 50 hours of gameplay, which is something with these games today that they don't have. Oh god, I'm melting. And um, you guys should definitely go for it. I mean, I'm going to tell you right now, I, I honestly think that, um, you know, that I really think you should go for it. It's it's great. And, uh, you know, if you like medieval times and, you know, you like all the old fashioned armor and everything else. And believe it or not, the game is actually challenging. Like the person actually doesn't change like over time. He still sucks at life, even when you teach him how to use the sword and everything else. It's it's actually I actually like it that way. So um, now my number one most overrated game of the year, you could say whatever you want. But, guys, I hate to say this, and I hate to say it now, but the most overrated game I feel like is Fortnite. Sorry, guys. I, I don't know what the huge thing is with Fortnite. I don't really understand. I mean, it's fun. Don't get me wrong. But Fortnite, really? It's free to play. That's great. But you... I don't know. There's just something about Fortnite that I just don't find appealing. I... I like it. It's just I don't like it enough to say, hey, guys, let's go spend 10 hours playing Fortnite. I don't know. I just think PUBG beat them to the punch as far as with it. But it looks like Fortnite might actually end up taking the throne on Battle Royale games. Um, so, yeah, I hate to say that, guys. Uh, but unfortunately, that's just the way it's going to be. I know I didn't say the number one overrated game of the year, but I'm going to have to say it anyway. Um now, I'm not a big handheld person, so I can't really say as far as handhelds, but there is a lot of great games out there, such as Pokemon. Uh, you know, I don't care what you say, no one's ever too old for Pokemon. By the way, I did buy Red first. Um, I guess that's really it, guys. I've just been super busy. Um, I promise I'm going to be doing some more vlogging. I've been getting a little more time in my schedule. Um, you know, I appreciate you guys with the follows on Twitter. I see that I'm actually growing a little bit. You guys are the best. You guys make this completely worth it. And help, I'm burning in the sun again. Okay, guys, I'm not melting anymore. I honestly, like I said, I would do YouTube as a full-time gig, but unfortunately, due to life, yeah. Basically slaving away, making money trying to be happy you know the fun stuff but guys um in the meantime i hope everybody's doing well uh as you know uh what's coming out tomorrow oh yeah burnout paradise that's actually one of my favorite car games of all time um yeah go for it burnout paradise it's coming out tomorrow for 40 bucks maybe i'll give away a free copy uh i'm thinking about it so let's see what you guys do Anyway, hit the like button, subscribe to me, hit me up on Twitter, and just uh, give me a shout out, guys. I will talk to you guys later, and I hope you have a good one. Bye-bye now.